Hi everyone, today I have another video for our Jumpstart series, Adding and Editing Elements. In this video, I'll go over adding elements to your page and how to edit those elements. So we're here on the contact page of our website. You'll see that I already have some elements here. I have a Google Maps app, an image, some text, and a web form here. With the web editor, you can customize elements by clicking on them and using an interface to customize their stylistic settings and features. So for example, I can click on this Google Maps app right here. And over here you'll see that we have the Google Map interface open right here. And I can click Edit Map. And I can change the address that's displayed here. So how about I just input an address and you'll see those changes reflected. And you'll notice that I input this address and that address changed and is displayed now on the Google Maps app. If I select the image element, you'll notice we get customization options here. This box allows me to change the image itself, the design, or various other options for the selected image element. Now I can select this text here. And I'll make a few customizations by choosing edit text. So the first thing I'll do is go over here to this box and choose edit text and I'll highlight all of this text and I'll make it say contact. Next, I'll customize a few of the stylistic elements of this text by using the text editor. So I can change the style by highlighting the text and choosing the font styles up here. And how about we choose section title? And you can see that increase the size and how about I bold it as well and I'll change the color to pink and click use. Finally, we have this web form here. So I can select this and you'll see over here in this box, you can see a button that says edit form. I can click on this and this will bring up the menu that allows me to customize what is displayed in this form. As you can see, clicking on elements brings up this contextual menu that allows you to customize the different features of that selected element. To delete an element, I can select the element and then go up here to the very top of the screen and choose this trash icon here and that will delete that element. So what we'll do next is create a blank page and add a few elements to it. So I'll do that now. To create a page, I can go up here to the Pages menu and choose Add Page. Now I can choose from one of the many categories we have or I can just go with a blank page. So I'm going to go with a blank page because we're going to be adding our own individual elements. And I'll just give this a quick name. Hit Done. And you can see I have my blank page here. To add elements to this page, you'll notice that we have these icons on the left side of the screen. So I can select the add icon, which looks like a little addition sign, and this will bring up our add element menu. The first thing we'll do is add text. So I'll go here to where it says text, and how about I choose one of the headings to add to our page. So I'm going to choose site title. So I'll click on that and you can see that appears on my mouse cursor. So I'll click that there and then I'll go over to this box and edit the text and make it say contact. That looks good. The text editor can let you customize the font family, font size and much more later after you've added the text. Next we'll add an image. So I can go back to the add section and I'll choose image. And then I can choose the layout of the image that I want to add from here. So I'm going to be adding a circular image. So I'll click on this and you can see that it takes me to the file manager menu where I can choose what image will be displayed. So from here I can choose whether I want to upload my own image or choose from one of our many stock images. I'm going to go with a stock image. So I'll click on stock images here. And let's go down to the cafe and restaurant category. And how about we choose this image right here of a coffee cup because that fits our patisserie theme. So that's on my mouse cursor here. And you can see that now my content section isn't quite big enough for this image. So I'm going to need to increase the size. I'm going to go here to this little arrow on the left side and bring down the content section to make sure there's enough room for this image. And then I'll just drag this down. That looks good. Finally, we'll add a button to our site. So to add a button, we can go back to the Add section, and then we can go down to where it says Button. In this category, I have a big selection of buttons I can work with, but they're also customizable if I don't see one that fits my needs perfectly. 
So I'm going to go with this one that says shop now. And you can see it appears here on my cursor. And I'm going to put this right here. Now I can customize this button. So I can click on it. And over here in this box, I can choose edit text. And I'll make it say contact us. I can also change a few of the stylistic elements of the button as well. So I can choose style. And how about we make the background of this button a light blue. That looks good. And you can see in this menu here, we also have a few other options, such as change design and link to, which is where you will link your button to various other things. And that was a quick overview going over adding and editing elements. If you have more questions, feel free to contact us and stay tuned to our channel for more helpful videos.